Hello guys, so in this video we are going to see how to use FFmpeg for live streaming in YouTube. So I will be hiding out my YouTube uh, H key or the key for streaming. Okay, first of all let me get the key from the YouTube. So it will be much me much better. Let me do here. Click on stream. Go live. So I have already applied for that program of live streaming on YouTube. So I will be get uh, easily able to get the key for streaming RTMP key for streaming in YouTube. So I'm just copying it from here. Okay, this is our YouTube channel. Also, we need to go to FFmpeg live stream. So many will be like, uh, I know the streaming uh, place, how they stream and things. So in this video we are going to loop a stream, okay? Let's say we are going to loop our loop a video. Let's take an example. Let's do a beep video MP4 download. So let's take this as example. It's just two seconds, okay? So I am getting it from YouTube. So this is only for educational purpose. I'm using his video. It's no free copyright songs here. Yeah. You know that, right? So I'm downloading it from here. So I really appreciate him for doing it. So it will help you for creating your own streams. So this is sensor beep. Uh, let me take this to some place which I know. Let's move it to our desktop. It will be much better. Okay. It's in our desktop right now. You can see that. And go to pop up. Okay, let's close this. FFmpeg live stream YouTube. So first of all, we want to loop our video. So I'm doing it from scratch. I have not prepared anything. I think you can see my screen well. Yeah. I zoomed in a little bit. Okay. We are going to live stream a webcam. So it is given here a web uh, to stream a webcam. So there are a lot of forms of uh, internet. So stream video to YouTube via FFmpeg. We are using this script over here for streaming. So we will go through error, tr error and trial method over here. So let's first of all we want to loop the video to a webcam or some place so we can uh, stream it from the okay let's do ffmpeg live stream loop youtube so many will be like i need to loop a video over youtube so the viewers can watch the video and enjoy the video maybe so we want to replace this one the stream minus one then the interface yeah we got that and this one so let's copy this this sh file so i will giving you the link in description okay so never worry about that also i am opening a terminal over here myself i am using uh, manjaro linux so i don't have any problem if you are not using linux you need to go through some of the windows stuff over there Okay, let me paste that script. I will do list. Let's make it stream to YouTube. Yeah. We will do sudo nano stream to YouTube dot sh. Okay. So myself, I have given the password. Now we want to paste it. So to paste in our Linux. We need to press Ctrl Shift and V. Then it will ask, uh, should do you you do you want to paste this script? Okay, so it's perfectly fine for me to paste the same script. It's not in my language, so I can't read it properly. Okay, these are presets, and this is frames as well as this is the byte rate of the video. Uh, this is YouTube RT RTMP, and this should be the key which we have been copied before, a little bit before. Okay, I want to copy it again because yeah, I will copy it from here. So 
so I will be uh, refreshing my key out so no worries ok I have pasted the key now we have source over here let me go up so we do have uh, yeah this is the source so so I am using source as a file ok let me get back into this one so I am replaying a source ok let's take this one just copy this come over here I'm not sure about this what will happen but let us predict I will do dollar slash I think this will be perfect I need to do desktop it's in desktop okay it in desktop also you want to rename that file okay I, or I will create a new space over here let us do in a terminal manner do list so this is our clip okay so we need to rename it say move do sensor yep I will do tab so let's see for doing something big typing that much big do error dot mp4 we can say it error right so if I do ls you can see that it's error dot mp4 we can do it in ffmpeg way but still this will be much better I think okay we have created that let's do error dot mp4 so when I stream it right now it will stream for a second I mean for two second and it will stop so that's not enough for us let's take uh, this command and change it okay let's come over here copy this and over here let's paste that okay it says uh, from here let's remove the whole line then do control shift V perfect and YouTube key will be yep perfect RT, RTMP everything perfect let's try it out at first and it's not 100% sure it will work or not but still we can try it uh, so I will do sudo yep I made a mistake over there sudo change mod permissions I will do execution permission and I will do stream to youtube.sh perfect let us try uh, so let me keep this aside and my web browser in a side so we can see the live stream right let me do stream to youtube.sh cross the finger I got the error so it says no such file directory file or directory so I made a mistake over there let's try to modify something over there so let's take this yep where did I made the mistake uh, that yep over here let's try to remove this line okay just error dot mp4 yep save it so yep I think we are getting the stream over here so it's streaming over here okay so we get the stream over here yep close this I don't want that pop up yeah, I'd like to move it so let's make it into a big screen okay so like that we are streaming over there so there will be a little problem over here because you can see that yep it's so it's too noisy so there will be a break in between I will try to manage that and change that okay yep it's not that nice but still we are able to play replay a video again and again so it's my first video trying it out also I can see here my uh, CPU started uh, be being vigorous to me like I can hear the CPU noise which I will never heard before ok let's it will be continuously going also we can get an error over here like YouTube is receiving uh, not receiving enough video to maintain smooth server yeah So users will be in uh, chance of buffering. So try to make the video uh, big enough. Okay. So it's going like that. Let's check how much 
it can go okay we are doing a replay stream okay it will replay it again and again and again so there will be no problem over that so it's like two minutes right now and still my ffmpeg runs without any problem so we can do this stream forever like um, until the youtube is alive ok also we will get some errors because it's not proper uh, my cpu can't properly work because it's just having one uh, 4 gb of ram it's not perfectly enough for doing this stream if you are doing it in less than 1 gb of ram it will be so tough uh, maybe the stream would end uh, in interrupting some problems because it need a lot of uh, CPU usage as well as RAM so streaming is not that easy over internet okay myself having a buffering problem over here let us end this okay just control C will end the stream it's still not end let's see how much it goes so the stream will end shortly unless you restart the stream in your streaming software. So it took, uh, it is going on like 3 minutes 6, sec six seconds. Let it continue. So it got a buffering problem over here. Never mind. Okay, it's small video, okay. It's perfectly fine and it's working well. Uh, let's go with something We got a lot of stream it works with mu and 3 u8 as well So I can do music streaming from other channels. I managed to broadcast to Facebook live very grateful for your contribution It's a gr really great thing guys because if I don't have this I can make this video right Everyone should be grateful to him. Yeah stream ended successfully like uh, it works for 2 minutes 52 seconds of time it streamed for 2 minutes 52 seconds ok let me go to my channel and check that yep uh, that's my python video So I don't think my video is live in here yet. Let's go to library. Animated beep. Uh, that's what I watched right now. So this should be the probably that video, okay. Yeah, that's how perfectly our video. It's perfectly awesome yeah so I think you understand how to do a video streaming with FFmpeg so in next video I will show you how to do it in server okay so thanks for watching and yeah, make sure you subscribe to our channel also click on the bell icon bye bye